Okay, so uh, and this is Madhuranjan Kumar, an assistant professor in Agriculture Department of uh, Suresh Sugyan Bihar University. So today in this uh, video, uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the plant protection equipment. So at the end of uh, this lecture, the students uh, will be able to know what are the different different uh, plant uh, protection equipments and also we will discuss about the different types of a sprayer and uh, the example of different different types of a sprayer uh, and their working mechanism and what are their use we will discuss in this chapter also we will <coughs> discuss about the duster okay the other plant protection equipments uh, and uh, also, we will discuss the different types of duster and their use. So, these are some books which you can refer for this lecture. Now, the plant protection equipment. So, you know, the chemicals are uh, widely used for controlling the disease, insect, and weeds in the crops. They are able to save a crop from pest attack only when when it is applied in time okay. they need to be applied on plants and soil in the form of uh, a spray dust or mist but what happens these chemicals are very very costly okay so therefore equipment should be uh, equipment for uniform and effective application is essential okay so this equipment is known as plant protection equipment okay. so the plant protection equipment are, are of two types one is known as a, a sprayer and other one is duster so the equipment which is used to apply chemical in liquid form then this type of equipment is known as a sprayer or the equipment which is used to apply chemical in powder form then it is known as the duster so this is the basic difference between the sprayer and duster a sprayer applies the chemical in the form of liquid whereas the duster apply the chemical in the form of powder <clears throat> now we will see the first we will see the sprayer after that we will see the duster so the main function of a sprayer what are the function of a sprayer the first function is uh, breaking the chemical solution into the fine droplets of effective size second function uh, distributing the droplets uniformly over the plant third applying the chemicals with sufficient pressure for positive reaching to the plant okay. and fourth function of a sprayer is regulating the amount of liquid applied on plant to avoid excessive application okay so these are the main functions first it will break the chemical solution fertilizer solution in fine droplets okay so it can uniformly um, the plant can uniformly utilize all these uh, chemicals the second distributing the droplets uniformly over the plant third applying the uh, chemical with sufficient pressure so that it can reach to the uh, all the parts of the plant and for regulating the amount of liquid because when you apply the fertilizer in the field without the um, sprayer then uh, at some times more amount of fertilizer can uh, reach to the far uh, reach to the plant sometimes less amount of fertilizer will reach to the plant okay. so it will regulate the amount of liquid applied on the plants to avoid excessive application now the classification of a sprayer <clears throat> so a sprayer are classified uh, on the basis of volume as well as on the basis of energy on the basis of uh, volume to be a spray uh, per unit uh, ground area the uh, sprayer are classified into three types first one is high volume sprayer second is 
low volume of prayer and third one is ultra low volume of prayer okay so these are the uh, types of a sprayer on the basis of volume to be a spray on, on the area okay. so high volume of sprayer if the volume to be a spray is more than 400 liters per hectare then it is known as the high volume of sprayer okay so here the, the more volume is applied so automatically it will consume more time as well as it will take more labor okay second type is low volume of sprayer so in this case the volume to be a spray is uh, 5 to 400 liters per hectare and uh, it saves material and labor third type is ultra low volume of sprayer in this case the volume to be a spray is less than 5 liters per hectare so this is the ultra low volume of sprayer now the second classification on the basis of energy applied so on the basis of energy applied the sprayer is classified into three types first one is hydraulic energy sprayer okay the second is hydro pneumatic sprayer and third one is centrifugal energy sprayer okay so we will see one by one first type is hydraulic energy sprayer so hydraulic hydraulic energy means it is related with the water pressure whereas hydro pneumatic it is related with the air air pressure okay so first one is hydraulic energy sprayer here the spray pressure is built up by the direct action of the pump on the liquid okay so in this case there is a direct action of the pump on the liquid spray material okay so in this case the pressure thus developed force the liquid through the injector or, or nozzle which uh, break the spray into optimum or proper size droplets and disperse them in the spray pattern as desired also the sufficient energy is imparted to the spray droplets to carry them from the nozzle to the space to be tar uh, targeted okay so this is the hydraulic energy sprayer second type is hydro pneumatic sprayer okay since it is related with the air pressure so in this case the spray liquid is carried in a pressure tank and the spraying pressure is developed by means of an engine powered air compressor okay. so in this case the spray material does not pass through a pump or uh, contact any other moving part okay whereas in the hydraulic energy sprayer there is a contact between the pump and the liquid spray material but here there is no any contact between these two okay now third type is centrifugal energy sprayer so in the centrifugal energy sprayer the spray fluid head under low pressure at the center of a high speed rotating device and uh, this material this spray liquid is atomized by the uh, centrifugal force as it leaves the periphery of the atomizer so in this case the highest speed rotating device you can use as a, a flat disc concave disc convex uh, convex disc okay and uh, wire mesh case or bucket is there a perforated sieves are there or a cylinder or brush are there okay in the centrifugal energy sprayer here the droplets are carried by the air stream generated by the blower of the sprayer or by the prevailing wind if the sprayer is not provided with a fan so this is the third type of a sprayer okay. now these are the example of different different 
types of a sprayer in the first type that is the hydraulic sprayer the examples are compressed and lever uh, lever operated knapsack sprayer second example is knapsack sprayer with boom foot operated sprayer foot rocker sprayer power operated sprayer tractor mounted highest uh, high volume sprayer self propelled lightweight boom sprayer so these are the example of uh, example under the hydraulic sprayer under the hydro pneumatic sprayer the examples are motorized knapsack blower okay second is hand uh, sprayer and third one is hand held evil be a sprayer ultra light volume sprayer under the centrifugal energy sprayer the examples are a spinning disc sprayer okay so these are the example of the different types of a sprayer now we will see one by one the all these types all these example here this is the knapsack sprayer knapsack sprayer it is a hand operated or lever operated this one this is known as a hand uh, knapsack sprayer okay. so this sprayer is suitable for applying chemicals to several field crops the operator carries the sprayer on his back and hence the name is knapsack sprayer okay if you talk about the construction of this knapsack sprayer then uh, you can say that it has a flat tank of capacity 15 to 20 liter in this sprayer a hydraulic pump is there hydraulic pump fitted inside the tank a handle to operate the pump shoulder a strip okay so you can carry on your back filter is there to remove out any unwanted material in the chemical flow control lever that is the trigger valve so with the help of this you can on and off the flow of fertilizer to the crops pressure chamber to build up a chamber of pressure so that liquid can be ejected out deep tube this is a part of pressure chamber piston cylinder exit valve inlet valve pump lever trigger valve lung okay so lung is the long tube okay so these are the some parts of this knapsack sprayer the tank is made up of either brass or pvc material the tank is filled with chemical solution the pressure developed in this sprayer depend on the pump and it varies from 3 kg per centimeter square to 12 kg per centimeter square the application rate of this knapsack sprayer is 500 liter per hectare and the coverage area is uh, 0.5 to 1 hectare per day this is the knapsack sprayer the internal view of this knapsack spray, uh, sprayer is shown here okay, here you can see all the component this is the cap so through this cap you can fill the liquid uh, a spraying liquid into this tank okay here some uh, just below this uh, in in the cap the tank filter is there so you can uh, filter this Uh, liquid and unwanted material you can uh, you, it can remove the unwanted unwanted material from the liquid here this is the tank capacity of 15 to 20 liter capacity and this is all about the tank and now the main part is this one this portion this is the pressure chamber this portion is the pressure chamber and this a small tube a small diameter tube this is known as a deep tube okay this is the pump cylinder this one this is the pump seal okay and this is the exit valve this is the exit valve and this is the inlet valve okay and this is known as the lung this is the tube and here 
some trigger valve is there so with the help of trigger valve you can allow or restrict the flow of this liquid material to the outlet okay now this is the long tube this is known as a lance so this is the pump lever so with the help of this lever you can create the pressure inside this pressure chamber okay so all these are uh, part of this knapsack uh, sprayer okay now we will see how this knapsack sprayer work so in this system a liquid is drawn from the tank through a valve inlet valve into the pump chamber okay by the upward movement of the piston when the piston will move up then liquid will be drawn from the tank to this chamber through this valve okay so when this piston will move up when you move this pump lever okay so on the reverse a stroke of this lever the spray solution passes through a second valve into a air or pressure chamber okay the inlet valve between the tank and the pump here this valve the inlet valve between the tank and the pump is closed during this operation to prevent the return of liquid to the tank so this is the one way valve when the liquid when the liquid is going from the tank to this chamber then this valve will open and after that it will close okay air trapped in part of the pressure chamber and compressed as liquid is forced into the chamber suddenly as pressure in the air chamber increases liquid is directed through a deep tube and this hose this is known as the hose and passed a trigger valve and through a lance to the nozzle okay so this is the all about the working mechanism of this knapsack sprayer okay now we will see the salient feature of knapsack sprayer so this knapsack sprayer is useful to develop a high pressure with less effort it is light in weight and easy to carry on the back of the operator the third feature of knapsack sprayer is it is robust in design and simple to maintain both left and right hand operations are available the capacity is 10 to 15 liter capacity is there and it is it is easy to spray chemicals so these are the salient feature of knapsack sprayer now the second type of sprayer is second example of a sprayer is knapsack sprayer with bow so this is similar to the knapsack sprayer okay but here more coverage area is there you can see this is a uh, a uh, booms are there okay and in this booms three nozzles are there okay so in this way it can enhance the coverage of the area so this type of a sprayer is suitable for row crop for ground here booms are present so boom enhance the field coverage it is similar the principle is similar uh, the working mechanism is similar to the knapsack sprayer which we, we we have discussed in the last slide okay just here booms are uh, added here okay so this boom will increase the coverage area now this is food operated sprayer okay so in the street of a uh, hand lever here pedal are there foot pedal with the help of this foot pedals you can uh, create the pressure inside the chamber okay so this sprayer consists of pump 
this is the pump operated by pump lever this is the pump lever or you can say the pedal suction hose is there this is the suction hose okay and this suction hose is uh, connected to the uh, bucket in which the spray uh, liquid spray is kept okay. and at the end of this suction hose there will be some strainer so that the bigger impurities cannot enter into this pump chamber into this uh, uh, suction hose okay. also there is delivery hose this is the delivery hose okay. and there is a lung at the end of this delivery hose, hose there will be one trigger cut off valve trigger valve is there and after that this is the lung fitted with this cut off valve okay and at the, at the end of this lung there will be nozzle So this is the foot operated sprayer. Okay. So these are the component. Now here an additional tank is uh, uh, provided to uh, store the uh, spray liquid. And in that additional tank, in that tank, this uh, suction hose is uh, dropped. Okay. So in this case, the pump uh, build up high pressure to throw a spray liquid to a large distance with a suitable boost. So this is a foot operated sprayer. Now this one is a foot rocker sprayer. Okay. So here, the all the component, the uh, the complete assembly is mounted on a wooden board this is the wooden board on this board all the parts of this uh, sprayer is mounted so what are the different different parts of this sprayer it consists of a piston pump for developing high pressure this one this is the piston pump for developing the pressure one or uh, two uh, spray lungs will be there uh, 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 along with the set of valve here here the two uh, lungs is present and at the here at the beginning of this lung the set of valve or trigger valve is there also the suction hose is there so that it can draw the chemicals from the uh, that uh, bucket okay and also there is a delivery valve this is the delivery valve which is connected to the pressure chamber to the and this lungs okay. and at the end, end of this lungs there will be no gel okay. so these are the component of this foot rocket aspirator also uh, one handle is there so with the help of that handle you can create a pressure through this piston pump so in this case the pump is operated with long lever to and fro in a rocking motion like this way which sucks the liquid from the inlet pipe 
submerged in the liquid. The other person holds the lungs and direct the spray chemical to the target. Okay, so this is the foot rocker sprayer. Now, other example is power operated sprayer. So, it is operated by the centrifugal pump. Okay, here some pump is there which can create the pressure, and with the help of that pressure, the liquid will be thrown out from this nozzle. Okay. So, for operation, the shut off trigger valve of the lung is closed, and the engine or electric motor is started to actuate the pump. The pump draws the liquid from the spray liquid uh, from the tank here this in this tank the liquid are kept the liquid is kept okay. so this pump draw the liquid from the tank and impart the pressure energy and send it to the delivery line the operator direct the lungs towards target and operate the trigger or cut off valve so this is the power operated sprayer. The other examples are tractor mounted high volume sprayer. Okay. So this sprayer is operated by the PTO shaft, power takeoff shaft. Okay. So this uh, uh, it will take power from the PTO shaft of the tractor. So it is suitable for the ground spraying if tracks are left for tractor movement in the crop field. So this is a high volume sprayer. Okay. I will show you some video related to this uh, high volume sprayer. Here you can see this is a high volume sprayer. This is known as a lung, and this is a nozzle. Okay, you you can increase the length of this nut and this lung. So this is a high operate, high volume sprayer is this, and it is operated by Is operated by the PTO shaft of the tractor. You can see this is a connected with the PTO shaft. Okay. So this is a high volume sprayer. Okay. Tractor mounted high volume sprayer. Now the other one is self propelled light boom lightweight boom sprayer so the machine is operated by 5 hp diesel engine and controlled by the operator from the handle okay. it consists of lightweight power tiller with a power tiller and a, a spraying unit the spray pump and tiller will get power from engine through gear chain and sprocket and it is used for chemical application on wheat, vegetable, and other crops. Okay. So here you can see the picture related to this power tiller sprayer. Here, some booms are uh, fitted so that it can increase the coverage area. And it gets power from the power engine. Okay. Now, 
now other one is the hand sprayer it consists of air compression pump when the air is compressed it is passed over the end of suction pipe which extend down into the spray material in the tank the spray material is kept when the compressed air is kept through the nozzle it carries the spray material along with it the blast of air breaks the spray material in the form of mist so this type of a sprayer is commonly used for household garden and kitchen garden other one is motorized knapsack sprayer it is the simplest engine driven sprayer used in agriculture it is carried on the back of the operator it is used for spraying to all types of field crops most popularly to paddy groundnut cotton and vegetable crops it consists of a uh, one uh, 1.2 to 3 hp high speed petrol engine a blower this one blower a 12 liter chemical tank this one delivery hose this one flow regulator knob are there and no gel the tank is filled with required chemical solution when the engine is started the blower generate a high velocity air to which the chemical solution is fed the chemical mixed air stream is broken into the fine droplet at the nozzle and sprayed to the crop okay so this is a motorized knapsack sprayer here you can see the person using this uh, uh, motorized knapsack sprayer to his uh, paddy field so this is all about the sprayer now the other plant protection equipment is duster so duster is a machine which are used to apply chemicals in dust form so when chemicals are applied in dust form then uh, this is uh, the machine which are used to apply chemicals in the dust form is known as the duster so duster make use of air stream to carry pesticide in a finely divided form on the plant there are different different types of duster like plunger type knapsack type rotary type power operated duster okay first one is plunger type it is a simple duster with a small piston are there the piston drives a current of air over the dust in the hopper the dust is carried away through a delivery spout it is suitable for a small area like vegetable garden second is knapsack type so it is a duster with the powder container carried on the back of the operator knapsack duster have a hopper through which a current of air is blown to pick up the dust the air current is uh, produced by a lever operated uh, lever a bellows shoulder straps are used to carry this knapsack type in the field these dusters are suitable for a small area the other type of duster are uh, rotary duster so hand rotary dusters are useful to apply chemicals which are in powder form it consists of a hopper a fan gear box handle delivery hose and a deflector plate so when the handle is uh, rotates the fan rotates at a higher speed and uh, draw uh, air from outside the chemical from hopper is fed into the air stream in the suction side of the fan the chemical mix 
with the air passes through the delivery line and is applied on the plant. The last one duster is a power operated duster. The power operated duster mainly consists of a power driven fan, <clears throat> a hopper, and a delivery spout. The fan creates a strong air flow which causes the dust to blow off from the hopper to a considerable distance vertically or horizontally. Direction of dust is regulated by a movable spout uh, suitably fitted with the unit. This type of duster are used for the large area, for example, in uh, aerial uh, duster. So these are the types of the duster, plunger type, knapsack type, rotary type, power operated duster. Okay. So this is all about this lecture. Now on the basis of this lecture, some questions, some assignment are there. So solve this assignment, in, it will help to understand this topic. So first question, is the equipment the equipment which is used to apply chemical in liquid form are known as what is the name of that equipment which apply chemical in the liquid form so this is the a sprayer the second question the equipment which is used to apply chemical in powder form, so which implement, which equipment apply chemical to the crop in powder form, the name is duster, okay. Now what are the main function of a sprayer, okay, so in the slide we have seen what are the main function of a sprayer, these are the main function of a sprayer to break down the chemical solution to the fine droplet, uh, second, to distributing the droplets uh, uniformly over the plant, third, apply the chemical with sufficient pressure for positive reaching the plant, and fourth one, to regulate the amount of liquid applied on plant to avoid excessive application. Okay, so these are the main functions of a sprayer. Fourth one, the classification of a sprayer on the basis of volume to be a spray per unit grounded area. So on the basis of volume, uh, uh, there are three types, a large volume, medium volume, and low volume sprayer. Okay. Uh, so a sprayer are classified on the basis of volume as well as on the basis of energy. So on the basis of volume, the sprayer are classified into three types. Okay. So first one is the high volume sprayer, second one low volume sprayer, and third one is ultra low volume sprayer. So high volume sprayer, here volume of a spray is more than 400 liter per hectare. In the low volume sprayer, the volume of a sprayer will be uh, ranging from 5 liter per hectare to 400 liter per hectare. Whereas in the ultra low volume sprayer, the volume of a sprayer will be uh, less than 5 liters per hectare. Okay. Now, the fifth question, classification of a sprayer on the basis of energy applied. So on the basis of energy applied, the sprayer is classified into three types, hydraulic energy sprayer, hydro pneumatic sprayer and centrifugal energy sprayer. Okay. So these are the some description about these all these three types, hydraulic energy sprayer. In this case, there will be direct action of the pump on the liquid spray. Okay. In the hydro pneumatic sprayer, uh, pressure is developed by the means of an engine powered air compressor. Here, no direct contact of the pump on the liquid spray. In the centrifugal energy sprayer, the spray liquid fed under the low pressure at the center of a high speed rotating device. And here, it is atom atomized by centrifugal force. Okay, so these are the three types of uh, sprayer. The other question is, in this example of a sprayer under 
hydronic sprayer okay so under hydronic sprayer these are the example compressed and lever operated nasdaq sprayer nasdaq sprayer with boom foot operated sprayer foot rocker sprayer power operated sprayer tractor mounted high volume sprayer self propelled lightweight uh, boom sprayer so these are the example of hydronic sprayer similarly the other question in this example of uh, sprayer under hydro pneumatic sprayer so under the hydro pneumatic sprayer these are the example motorized knapsack blower hand sprayer hand handheld ultra light volume sprayer okay other questions in this example of a sprayer under centrifugal energy sprayer so in this case only a spinning disc sprayer are the example okay now other questions construction and working mechanism of knapsack sprayer okay so we have discussed about the construction and working mechanism of knapsack sprayer in the slide okay. then uh, is a machine used to apply chemical in dust form so the name is duster okay others are different uh, types of duster are so there are four types of duster in the slide we have seen these are the types of duster plunger type knapsack type rotary type power operated duster okay so these are the four types of duster you have to mention in this question okay i think this is the last question okay so these are the some questions related to this topic so first go through this topic and after that you have to solve that question so this is all about the plant protection equipment so in this uh, chapter we have seen the what is the why the plant protection equipment is needed okay and what is the sprayer and what is the duster what are the main function of a sprayer what is the different types of a sprayer on the basis of volume as well as on the basis of energy applied okay now we have seen the different example under the Uh, different different types of a sprayer okay and in the last we have seen the duster what is the duster and what are the different types of dusters so this is all about uh, today's lecture